Yeah. What's good with y'all? What's good? So what we doing right now? What we are doing is talking about a forecast for the signs, Pisces and Sagittarius, long awaited. Here we go though. Don't be mad at me, all right? So Pisces and Sagittarius, what y'all doing? What you what y'all doing? Looking for the philosopher stone or something like that? What y'all what y'all doing? What y'all up to? Talk to me nice. Alright, look. Pisces and Sag, right? So for the Pisces, uh the sun is going to be in well, the sun is now in the seventh house of Virgo, the sign Virgo. Seventh house for Pisces. For Sagittarius, that's going to be the tenth house. So this is interesting. These are and you know, I just this just dawned on me that under the horoscope, under the solar chart, that uh, these signs are in angular places, um, you know, when it comes to like matching up and stuff like that, um, cardinal places, you know what I'm saying? So this is going to be, oh, I should say a main focus of what y'all should look at when y'all dealing with each other. Um, it could really help you. So, you know, like I said before, I'm more into these type of forecasts dealing with the planets, segmented planets houses and stuff like that rather than sinistry charts because i think sinistry charts like really take the mystery out of things and you could miss out on some eventful times with people that can teach you lessons whether or not you end up with them in the long run or not um based upon a sinistry chart you know what i'm saying now i don't totally say that you should neglect the sinistry chart but I will say this, if you are, if you need something quicker, I would say to be more in tune with these. If you need right on the spot forecast of what's going on between you and that person or what could go on between you and that person, I would say stick to these and do a sinistry chart later. So then you could figure out like, oh, it might end up like this in the long haul because of Pluto over here and Neptune over there. So let's get back to what I was saying, though. Seventh house for Pisces, 10th house for Sagittarius, right? So Pisces is going to be in the mode of looking at relationships. Now, this is not going to be sad. This is not Pisces is not going to be on some old having fun. Like there's not going to be anything about fun when it comes to this. This is going to be about some serious business. What's going on? And the reason being is because the sign Virgo. Virgo is not really a, a, a Virgo is like a no nonsense type of sign. So whatever sign the planet is in is how that's going to be expressed. So being that the lights are turned on with the sun being in Virgo, the Pisces is going to be looking at you or who, if they're not with you right now, they're going to be looking at significant others or potentialities discriminatively like, hmm. You know what? I don't, I don't. That then that gotta change. Like if we get together, that gotta change. Or I'm gonna put them on. I don't. I don't like the smallest things. They're gonna be nitpicking at it. Like I don't like that about them. Damn. And it might be because of a transit. Hopefully the Pisces is smart enough to know that. I'm pretty sure they know that living in the moments can you know do some things. But these are the things that they're gonna be picking up on. Their attention to detail is going to be through the roof. You know. So be prepared for that, Sag. Um, but more importantly, you might be enthused at the fact that they're going to be looking at relationships more seriously, not in a fifth house manner, but in a seventh house manner. Therefore, you know, should you be the prize, it, it could be a real, you know, step up for you in your endeavors when it comes to relationships, because maybe you might feel the same way. Like, yo, I want something serious or you want something serious now you know what i'm saying before it was dating and now you're like ready for something more serious so when pisces can actually be in that leadership role because it's their seventh house they're gonna they're gonna look like a leader when it comes to this relationship thing you know what i'm saying so that can help you out now i also sense that sag with the sun being in your 10th house okay so hold on let me finish with pisces first before i get the dipping and dabbing so Pisces might go hermit mode as well. Pisces might go hermit mode as well. And Pisces, this is just a warning to you. If you are looking to find a serious relationship, and this could be business or personal, you know what I'm saying? However you choose to do it, um, you will want to show yourself. 
because this is your seventh house and this is your public house. So the whole hermit thing is going to collapse on you. Or should I say, it's, it's not going to do you any justice if this is what you're looking for. You know, be seen right now. And I would say when you're be seen, put some clothes on. Not saying that you're naked and shit. I'm just saying like, <laughs> you might be though. You probably are. But I'm just saying like, get dressed. You know what I'm saying? Go put some brown, some black, some blues on. Get dressed when you appear. Uh, when you take photos, go go get some of the sunlight. Don't do not do the studio light thing. Go outside, take some photos. Let the sun hit you. Bang, radiance. You know what I'm saying? Do it like that because you might not want to communicate. And it might be for a reason. You might not want to say the wrong thing. You know, that, that harsh reality of mouth that Virgo energy possesses. You might not want to do that. You know what I mean? So speak in a different language with pictography. Um, but try to make some type of public appearances so this Sag can get a look at you, B. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So now let's get to Sag being 10th house son, right? Um, the Sag, you might self-identify with Pisces should they be in the limelight and expressing themselves in a way that is knowledgeable, expressing themselves in a way that has some truth to it. Um, expressing themselves in a way that is freedom loving, freedom giving, generous, even if it comes to just being generous with the knowledge, you might self identify with this. And I say this because it's the sign Sagittarius under the solar dial is Pisces Midhaven. So that can turn you up. I don't know if it's going to turn you on completely, but it might turn you up to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's that sounds that sounds pretty dope. That sounds wise. Like this person has some, you know, some wisdom with them or, you know, an outlook on life that's expansive and not so closed in and boxed in and under the ordinary. And then you might self identify with that which your son being in in the ten thousand and be like, Oh, okay, this is nice. You know what I mean? Now, Sag with you, with the son being in your tenth house, um, I would say this, right? I would say this. You should pay attention to how people are perceiving you and your image. Um, and normally I know, Sag, you don't give a fuck, right? So, but at the same time, it's not about you all the time. And what I mean by that is, and you'll see as I keep going through this chart, this is a time where you can look at how people perceive you for a reason of a reasoning of um how should I say it like a like a career check like a career health check right because you're gonna want to know if people see you as more powerful as you now than you were last year or five years ago are you less liked and, you know, percentages and all of that type of... This is Virgo energy. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, percentages down to the analytics. Like, what's going on in your career and how... If you're not tracking this immediately, because some people are so gargantuan that they have teams to do this for them. You know what I mean? Or they're not savvy with the softwares that do this type of stuff. So, who's bringing you your reports, Sag? Who's doing this? Because the Pisces is going to be looking at you in that area right in your 10th house glow and going to be like they're going to be deciphering this themselves because they're looking for an established partner right the lights are turned on for them as an established partner so they're going to be like hmm career wise this career person um what's going on with them you know how are they being perceived not necessarily valued but perceived you know are they infamous or there's a sense of infamy? Are they in the tabloids a lot? Is it for positive things? Is it for negative things? You know what I mean? What are they expressive about when they're under the limelight? Stuff like that. So I would tell you, Sag, to be discriminative as well about how that is. And if you got a publicist or something like that, talk to them like, yo, how do people see me? And if they don't got the answers, then you know somebody getting the page, they just there for a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? And don't, I mean, the Pisces might be the person that could put you on and pull your coattails about that. Like, yo, check this out. You way doper than what, what's going on right now. Or, you know, 
or they might shun you because it's possible, right? I don't want to fluff you all up and shit, but it's possible that they may be like, yo, you, they make you more important than you really are. Like, really, like, you you could be better. You know what I mean? And either or, these things can teach you and help you. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'll be saying. So, let's go to the planet Mercury now. So, Mercury is in the eighth house of Libra for Pisces. And it goes um, on the 27th. Right, pardon me. On the 27th, it goes into Libra. See, I don't want to do too much confusing with the Virgo and then it's switching into Libra, but that's how it's going. It's in Virgo right now. Um, so just to catch you up to speed real quick, it's going to be more along the lines of what I just expressed about the sun, but it's going to be communicative, right? Seventh house relationships, serious partnerships, but this may be communicated. And if it's not communicated by the Pisces, it's going to be learned by the Pisces. So just put the pieces together. If they go hermit mode and then... They're going to be going hermit mode by being analytical and learning that significant other you, Sag. All right. On the other hand, they're going to be communicative and expressive about it. They may talk to you. They may send you a message. They may send you a gift in the mail or something like that. And probably not going to be a gift. I'm going to just keep it real with you. It's just it's just too serious of us. Virgo is just too serious of a sign to be doing the whole gifting thing, if you ask me. Um, and it's and, it, and because it's like flattery, eh, Pisces is going to be more along the lines of being serious right now when it comes to that. So flattering things would just be look like looked at as like a like trying to dupe you. You know what I mean? So I doubt that's going to happen. But um, when it comes to the twenty seventh of August and Mercury does go into into Libra. Pisces is going to be thinking about sex. They're going to be thinking about their sex. Not only that, they're going to be thinking about their sexual partners from the past. So this may partially have only little to do with you. Um, I wouldn't be upset about it or worried or concerned because they're going to be, again, they're going to, st they're going to be looking at this like, how did these people impact my life that I was fucking? Like, where are they now? You know what I'm saying? Like the like the like the fucking documentaries and shit. Where are they now? What are they doing now? And they're gonna be doing some real assessments. Like, yo, I gave my dick to this person. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. You know, you gave up the goods to this person, and it's just like, yo, for what? You might feel like you better than. Put it this way: you're gonna be looking for the balance in it, and if you don't find a balance, Pisces, you're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna be, but this ain't gonna be the end of the world. This is supposed to transform you, and it will. It's going to make you say, you know what, I'm about to step it up a notch, B, because that ain't go the way that it could have went. Or that ain't going in my favor. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, but look at them now. Look where they at now. It's like it ain't even helped them. And I think I'm dope. So it's just like what, what I got to be more aware and intentional when I'm having sex type shit. You know what I'm saying? Also, there's going to be some um, assessments of the mind of the psychology there's going to be some mental health checks here for the pisces when it comes to other people though being involved with other people and the extremities of other people and whether or not they were able to balance things out when there was some type of uneven deal being had you know what i mean sometimes it's like that sometimes people get the best of you sometimes you get the best of them and it's just an in the moment thing but reconciliation is a key factor with the eighth house can you still bring it back together through these tough turbulent times in order to stick together you know what i'm saying and look at the bigger picture of there's more people involved in this like it's just not me it's just not you it's us and whoever is external from that that's in this whole eighth house magical place here you know what i'm saying and it's going to be stuff that's more uh, intense, something that's more along the lines of private than public. You know what I mean? So this is where this Pisces thinking is going to be right now. Um, this is where they may even want to, you know, I don't know if y'all into the slutty stuff. It's not slutty. Let me stop saying <laughs> Let me not say that. But, you know, this could go into the OnlyFans realm. You know, it's, it's cool to speak about these things now because they're popular now. Back in the day, it was just all frowned upon. You know what I'm saying? So I'm serious. If you're doing your OnlyFans things one right now, Pisces, you're going to be looking into that. Anything you've done sexual on the camera, contractual-wise, you're going to be looking at that like, why did I even ever do that? Or what happened with that? Why haven't I, you know, went and capitalized on that? And even more when it comes to the 10th, because 
Mercury is going to be retrograde. So there's going to be some internalization going on. And I would say pump the brakes on, on going forward just because the retrograde is coming on like doing new stuff. Just take a time out and reflect and say and see, you know, where did things go when you did pursue people along the lines of doing that type of stuff? You know what I'm saying? And say that you're with this Sagittarius, right? How is the communication level when it comes to sexual desire? How is the communication level when you have experiences with each other that um, fluctuate? How are y'all after that? Have you ever talked about that? Have you ever been like, yo, you know, you good? You good? Like, yeah, we, we good, right? We good, right? Yeah, we good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to do one of those right now. You know what I'm saying, Pisces? Um because it's going to let you know or give you some type of indication of how things can turn out when the times are tough. You know what I mean? And whether you should continue to invest in this relationship because eighth house is life after the relationship and you will want to know that before you start doing more serious things, right? Your, the light is going to be turned on in the seventh house, so you should be focused on this type of stuff. Um, now, Sag... With you having Mercury inside of the eleventh house, right? Um, and see, this is yo. I'm getting power couple vibes with you too, like real shit. Like I'm for real, power couple vibes with Pisces and Sagittarius. Why hasn't this been something? I don't know if I've expressed this before. Um, I don't think that I have at this type of level. But all right, just peep this, right? Right now, Mercury's in eleventh house for Sagittarius, so. Or not right now, but it's going to be in, a, in, a, in an eleventh house of Libra. So think about contracts and the friends that you've had, the relationships that you've made over time, Sagittarius. And remember what I said about the sun being in your tenth house about career. Then when those questions get asked, and you see how you look at the analytical reports of how people perceive you, and you know whether they, whether your contract is going up or is they're trying to lowball you now. You're going to be wanting to communicate this to your friends, the networks that you have that help you bring your dreams and wishes into fruition. And you're going to want to know, can we do better? Are we doing our best? Do y'all still have my best interest at heart or are y'all still along for the ride and just benefiting off of what you can? Because we're in this network, we're in this group and it's been this way for so long. And, you know, what's new? What are we doing new? How are we trying to expand even further are we even helping by what we're doing or are what we're doing is it just cliche and it's under the banner of rigidness like what barriers are we breaking are we thinking outside the box if not why not this is what Sagittarius this is what you're going to be thinking and if you're not thinking this you're going to be learning this if you're not learning this you're going to be inquisitive about this stuff you understand and you're going to be looking at if you're getting the shit into the stick or not. If people are just benefiting largely off of you without you getting that same type of energy or that same part of the deal. Is it 50-50 in relationships is pretty much what I'm saying, you know? Now, if, you're, if your friend is this Pisces, and y'all know how I feel about friendships. friendships. Friends are 11th house when I talk about friends. If your friend is this Pisces, how do they contribute to your dreams and your wishes coming into fruition? You know, you want to learn that. You want to talk to them about that for your for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I already told you where Mercury is at for them, so you know what they on right now. But if they mean that to you as your friend for what you got going on with your Mercury, then you should be able to speak to them about that and they should be able to communicate with that with you as well and effectively as well. We got to remember, and this is why I like forecasting, right? The planets are in the same sign. So the, the sign is what gets expressed. So we're all going to be expressing ourselves in a way that is Libran in this next fork and in this next time coming up. You understand what I'm saying? Relationships, how do we value them? And as that gets expressed, if we're not looking to bring some type of uh, harmony, then we can pretty much figure out who's for us and who's not. And of course, the house is going to be relative to where the intent and the result is. You know, Pisces might feel more sexual about this shit or more psychological about it. 
while you're really looking at the bag, Sag, like, yo, I got to get this bag. Like, I'm securing my bag. What does fucking have to do with this bag? You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, why are you being so um, digging into my mind? Will it? How will it impact my money? You know what I'm saying? And it can. Don't get me wrong. If you're doing a, a mental check on your significant other on this Sag and be like, yo, I just want to make sure your mind is okay because perhaps there's a barrier there that's preventing you from reaching this career pinnacle that you're trying to reach but you're having you know some discrepancies about if this is the case i know as it's just something intuitively that i feel that that's the case right now you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't for you sages i feel like i just feel like you're worth more and i think you notice and like i said even if you're not you could be and it's just like people might not be nudging you like yeah you could be better you know what i'm saying you could do more i just get that so, um, yeah, now you will be wanting sad. You'll be like trying to, because retrograde is going to have you internalizing on these things. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have a chopping block set up. Like somebody got to go. I don't mean like go off the earth. I mean like, you know, as far as, as far as the network goes, you know, you're either going to have to tighten up or go, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's get to planet Venus now. So Venus is in the sixth house of Leo for Pisces. Um, and it's going to be going into Virgo on the sixth for both of you, for everybody, but for both of, for both of you, right? So the sixth house, Leo expenditures on health related items. Um, Pisces don't break the bank. Like I said, you might want to show up in clothes, like do a photo shoot or something. Don't break the bank, though. Try to get creative. You know what I'm saying? Use that Leo energy, creativity. Get creative without being outlandish and bravado like Leo can be. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Because you could be doing a lot. You could do some extra spending that you don't necessarily have to do. Um, finances is part of health. That's why they say it. they call it financial health. You know what I mean? So be mindful and watchful of how you spend on things like that you might just do it for a photo shoot but you could like do it for more than a photo shoot you could have these clothes for a long time or something you know what i mean or you could give them away afterwards donate them or sell it back on ebay you know what i'm saying like real i'm real look at stuff like that um also these investments might be in your work environment. So, Sag, when you're looking at your Pisces, this is what you could look for them to be spending their bread on. Um, it may not have anything to do with you, you know what I'm saying? And they might just want to reinvest in themselves, this is especially for, like, the freelancers and stuff like that. They may want to invest in themselves so they could make their work environment more star-studded, should I say? You know what I mean? Like... So just pay attention to that and don't take it personal if you're not getting showered with gifts and loves and, and love and stuff like that. Um, Venus is in a real um, down to earth place for you guys, if you ask me, because six house naturally Virgo rules over it. So there's going to be some grounding coming on Pisces when they're making these decisions to, you know, spend their money. Um, you, Sag, on the other hand, you may be investing in higher knowledge and things of that nature, um, higher education. So you can get very turned on or want to interact and even spend money on Pisces when it comes to wisdom, picking their brain. If they have some type of seniority, perhaps they're older than you, maybe not. But if something that they're an expert in and they express themselves in a way that you understand, you may want to interact with them on that level from a place of a place of wisdom, a place of being knowledgeable, a place of um, teaching people how to expand their horizons when they feel stuck in a rut. And I can attest to this just recently. Um, I was asked for advice from an actual Sagittarius on what to do, how to do, you know, picking my brain. And, and I know in the past I said like, yo, Sagittarius, they don't, they don't listen and shit. Like this went kind of different, you know what I'm saying? But I guess it, it deals with, again, transits and timing. You know what I mean? Um, but they definitely came and asked for advice and appreciated every minute of it. You know what I mean? So um, 
I can attest to how that actually works, you know, real harmonious, real, um, real, it was just, yeah, it was just, it was like beautiful. Like, I'm going to just be real with you. Like the interaction was beautiful. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, Mars, Mars is in the fourth house of Gemini for Pisces. Your Pisces Sag is not going to want to stay home. Like this going to, it's going to take something or someone Maybe you or something to keep this Pisces home at this time. Um, it's just real. It's going to be so many thoughts going off in Pisces' mind on what to do and how to do it. But they're not going to be comfortable in being home trying to figure that out. They're going to feel that taking action and actually making a decision based upon one of these thoughts floating around is going to be the truth. Like that's going to be the truth. That's going to get them out of the house that's going to get them out of the rut that's going to get them out of um even mental anguish it could be some anxiety going on with this pisces and mars is in gemini for all of us and it's going to be there for seven months so sag i'm about to tell you to prepare for that shit too you know what i mean um because with you with it being in your seventh house of relationships and stuff like that you could be going into quarrels with your relationships and just and just questioning the whole thing like yo you're going to be looking at yourself in a relationship and saying you're going to be asking yourself, are you happy? Is this what you desired? If you're in another relationship with somebody, you're going to ask yourself that. You're in a relationship with your Pisces. You're going to be like, yo, is this still what I signed up for? Or is this what I signed up for? Like, how attracted to this person am I? You know? Um, and that's really for real. Like, <laughs> like, and I mean, like, your favorite actor attracted to them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, he's just so hot. Like, this is going to be a temperature check for you, Sag, to look at the Pisces and be like, do I feel that way about them? Or could I easily just slip out on them for a, a, like a real movie star? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm really attracted to or, you know what I mean? And how, how, to what level can that extend? Like maybe you, can you go to the gym and see someone else and be like, yeah, I'm hot for them. You know what I mean? Like you're going to be doing a temperature check on your desire for your significant other and whether it makes sense in the realm of staying together you know or be, even being together like you might even look at it as a set as a as a look you might look at it like this you might be enthused or even happy that you might look the better out of the two and i know that sounds kind of weird like why would you say something like that like this is a couple y'all supposed to be talking about a couple but I'm, I'm i'm serious some couples do well like that like yo i'm glad my mate is round and pudgy because i ain't got to worry about nothing but they really like round and pudgy people you know what i'm saying but the criteria for societal standards on a on a larger base doesn't cater to that body type you know what i'm saying like a dad bod or whatever the dad bods are kind of winning right now so i don't know this is what i'm saying right these types of discussions happen and sometimes um couples when they're both so beautiful it's just like you might be in competition with each other out in public so sad your mars is in a public house the seventh house so you may, you may think about things like that so it could go well if you're the hottest out of the two you know what i'm saying and just because mars is a, about self so that energy is going to be like, yeah, we, 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 we do great together because everybody's drooling all over me. And they look at him like, yeah, he's cool. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't as hot as, you know, you get what I'm saying. Um, let's get to Jupiter, the transitional planets in the second house of Aries for Pisces in retrograde. So Pisces is going to be doing stuff like this, Sag. They're going to be looking at their connections, their, their people. And they're going to be looking at them in regards of money. And this could sound bougie or this could sound like fucked up to some people. And it just is what it is, yo. They're going to be looking at people like, what have you done for me lately? And what can you do for me? So they're going to be looking at people as resources. Um, this could be big wigs, whales um, that they've been connected to or want to get connected to for the purpose of maintaining or acquiring resources, not in a way of them giving them money, no, in a way of, yo, they got this warehouse over here that, you know, cause some photo shoots could be done or some inventory can be housed and they won't even charge the Pisces. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. Like 
people who could really help them. It's not always about money. Pisces is figuring this out right now. Like it's not always about money, like currency money. You understand? It's more about what people have already. That if it's not particular assets, then it's really favors, right? What favors can people do for Pisces right now? Sag, if you're one of them, it's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they're going to be internalizing some comparing and contrasting going on to what others have done for them and comparing and contrast to what you have done for them. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to be measuring that out um, so that they can have powerful resources moving forward to the point where um, they're not selling themselves short anymore and they're not going small anymore. Um, Pisces is going to want to go big. They're going to be asking themselves the same question I said, says that you're going to be asking yourself when it comes to your network and circle of friends who bring your dreams into fruition. Pisces is going to be asking themselves, how much value do I have? Why have I been making myself small for so long? It's time to be big because it's in their second house of materialistic attitude. You know, how do I value myself? And if I'm discontent with that, then these changes need to be made during this time of Jupiter retrograde. Um, so be aware of that should you be one of those resources that they have. Um, and understand also that they're going to be real personal about this. You know what I mean? So again, this may not involve you. Yeah, they involve you because of how they see you for what you have, right? And how it can help them. But don't look for reciprocation is what I'm saying and feel like you're being um, wronged because of that. No, like there's there's a healthy relationship is going to be when individuals don't forget about themselves so they can be the best selves. And when they come so so when they come and, you know, meet up with you, things are better. You know, things are more optimal. You can have more optimal decisions. You can have more of an optimal lifestyle. Sad, you know all about this. Like, you are the epitome of optimism. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and for you, with Jupiter being in your fifth house, um, you might you're gonna you might want to have some fun right now. You know, you might want to have some fun, but your idea of fun may not be like breaking the bank or going to galas and going to it might not be the extraordinary despite jupiter being there because jupiter's in retrograde so you might even say to yourself like am i going to cancun again you know what i mean like am i it's just like you might be done with doing the same things if that makes any sense to the point where you're like you might have been in the coffee shop not too long ago and just can't get over how much fun you had sitting in a coffee shop with your electronic device, scrolling some particular things, the way that the sun shined in on it, the way that it wasn't crowded in there, the way that the coffee just tasted perfect. And that particular day was just something about that, the little things that made you so happy that you feel like, it's even a protective mechanism, like in some type of way that protected you from always being, you know, doing things the big way. And I say that because Jupiter rules over Sagittarius and y'all are used to that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Doing things big or, you know, being on the go constantly and, you know, um, you know, just doing things in a big way and in a, in a, or at least in a way that it seems big. You know what I mean? Um, and for the purpose of some type of, you know, some type of purpose behind it as well. You know, you might just stumble on a thought a thought process now, like, yo, the bigger picture is inner peace, you know, it's just well-being, or, you know, just some shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, and you might want to do some romantic shit along the lines of, you know, just like taking a hike or some shit like that, walking through the park, holding hands. I don't know. Don't let me my shit rub off on y'all. Maybe you want to hold hands with the Pisces. You know what I'm saying? Walk through the park. Go biking on like 10 speeds and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Wear some matching exercise gear and shit like that. Have one of those moments. It could still be fun. It could still be laughter. Um, Yeah, stuff like that, you know? And you might be thinking, 
And this is a good time. Like, when you see the lights turned on of how Pisces is going to be taking relationships more serious. And you're going to be all upbeat and in a romantic attitude. You're going to see how... And you both will see how, okay, well, she's a whole lot of fun. Look at her. She's a fucking spiritual fireball, right? And then she or he or she could look at the Pisces and be like, well, yeah, there is a serious side to this dude. It's not going to just be all dreams and um, potential poverty from drinking too much or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can really go somewhere. You know what I mean? So connecting in that type of way could be good for y'all during this internalization period. And you can see how the relationship can transition from, I don't know, maybe being doubtful or skeptical. Because the fifth house for you, Sag, is the house of speculation. So if it's not with the particular Pisces, you could look at your past people that you've dated and, been, and, and realize how unstable the relationship were, was or how insecure those people were when they were with you and you'll see the serious side of this Pisces right now and be like, yeah, I could fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? And lastly, Saturn, another transitional planet being in Pisces 12th house in retrograde and being in your third house, Sagittarius. Now, Pisces is going to Pisces. This is what you should be doing if you're not doing it already. You should be astral cartography should be in full swing right now for you. Pisces should be, and Sag, listen, I know you're listening, but Pisces should be thinking about, not even just thinking, but finding out, like finding out the information of how much your country values you and how you feel about that. Um, find out how that has been affecting you subconsciously. How there has been patterns to where you may have been duping yourself, delusion, you might have been deceiving yourself, thinking that things were either good or bad. You might have been thinking like, oh, this is just terrible, I fucking hate this place, I can't wait to move. And you might have a different light on it now because you've discovered something. And vice versa, you might be like, yo, um, this place is fucking great, this is the best country on earth. Until you do some more research and finding out some discovering that, man, it's fucking great over there. And you not only that, but you can do some great stuff for other people on the other side of the world. You might be way more valued in the other side of the world because, for example, corporations in America don't want to hire big educated people with master's degrees and PhDs because they'll tell them what to do. They got all of the knowledge now. They're fresh out of college. And those corporations are used to being in control of doing what they've been doing for the past 20 and 30 years. Why would they hire you, right? So you're no good to these American companies unless you start your own. Maybe you don't want to start your own. Maybe you want to help a company thrive and move forward by being the manager or whatever the case may be. And they're doing some hiring in China, <laughs> Look, I'm thinking about getting flagged because that's the type of, this is what I'm talking about. This is the shit that I'm talking about. Your own country might want to flag you because you said China. So, think about this, you know, but I'm, I'm, I use a little humor, but think about this in a serious manner because you could really turn the tables with that as well. Because you're doing work, you're doing the Saturn work here, and this is for you to transition. If you feel like you could do better in a different place in the, in the of the world. Look at your astral cartography chart and find out where that other place would be. Because then you might see magically all of a sudden your country might start doing favors for you that they took you for granted for before. You know, the universe is like that, you know, because where you don't value yourself, some other components won't value you either. But at least do a check, you know, do some analytics. Um... You'll be thinking about your lovers too as well, Pisces. So Sag, they're going to be thinking about how you are in the bed. Um, but more along the lines of themselves, being hard on themselves and trying to figure out, you know, if they're doing the right, correct thing in the bed, pretty much, you know. And if they can enhance that and if, if they can in which ways that they will. Or do something new on you that they haven't done to you before and stuff like that. Um... 
you know, in charitable stuff like that, like, um, Sag, you could be in tune. Like, if y'all both are doing work together, this is good for y'all. This is a, the Saturn work for y'all right now in this period is going to be good because there it's in Pisces house of former lands for you Sag is in your immediate community your local community so you both can have this conversation of where y'all are doing work geographically in life and be like yo bae you want to, you know you love tripping Sag and Pisces with them with Saturn being in their 12th house right now this is the perfect time to encourage them to want to trip and travel as much as you do, Sags. So should this Pisces discover purpose and where their work will be more valuable in these other places, this is where y'all can connect and then y'all can figure out, well, where are we going, right? Where can we go to make this optimal? You get what I'm saying? Because otherwise, Pisces is just going to think it's a whim, perhaps, and be like, oh, you just want to travel for travel's sake, like, you know, and this is a maybe. It all depends, you know, how Pisces, how your Pisces feels about travel. But this particular time is good on a serious note so they can figure that type of stuff out when it comes to, you know, business and work ethic and stuff like that. Like, where can this and not only that, but where can this work benefit in the long run later on? You know what I mean? And Sag, you can also look inside your community and be like, how much work have I done in this community? How rewarding does it feel? Because Saturn is the planet of rewards. Not necessarily rewards of external objects, but the lesson, the lesson and the status that comes along with the lesson. So even when the status increases, the income increases with that. That's like simultaneous. You know, it's like obtaining an education and, you know, more people with masters, people with master's degrees make more money than people who don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I mean, I know all of the hoopla about oh, people go to college, they broke and shit like that. Look, man, y'all, y'all don't be on doing reports like I do. Y'all don't look at the analytical reports like I do. Y'all look at the mega, the mega, the mega people who are successful and who said they didn't go to college and y'all are going on that, you know what I mean? But due to actual research and statistics, you know, people, I just said it, I'm not gonna repeat myself, but look, why did I just get irritated by that? Cause I'm a scholar and I don't like when people say that. I really don't, you know what I'm saying? Take your ass to college, yo, for real. But anyway, um, yeah, this will be able to help y'all transition. If not, one of y'all might leave the other. You understand what I'm saying? Especially, and I mean that geographically. Like, yo, I am i can't keep dealing with you when you don't want to go nowhere or do nothing and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But I want to do something. I do want to go somewhere. I want to do something. But, you know, or you might see and you might help them realize like, yo, they don't care about you here. You know, sad. They might, Pisces might look at you like, yo, they don't even look at all the work you put in that community. How they give it back. How do they, where's your thank you? Where's your celebration party? Where's your fucking, where's it at? Where's your awards? Where's it at? It ain't there? Fuck that, we out of here. Look what I just found. Look what I just discovered. We out of here. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gotta have some fun with that shit. I, I personally think that's a, a fun area for y'all. Despite Saturn being the people like, yo, Saturn is, oh, I'm scared of Saturn. Look, man. Sat, Sag is gonna, you're gonna really... I say you tune in and you'll tap into that energy more because the sun is in your 10th house, which Saturn rules over anyway. So think about your career when you when you work in this part out. You know what I mean? Because you might you might you might blow up overseas somewhere with your work because y'all are having this type of discussion and doing this type of work. You know what I mean? Alright, so that's it, y'all. I'm out of here. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Great luck to you, Pisces and Sagittarius is out there.